Hello, I'm Rebecca Flatty, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple polka dot pattern in Procreate if you've ever wondered how to do that. But I'm also going to show you how to make it and turn it into this really trippy, spinny pattern as well. We're going to be using the liquify tool to do that. So let's just jump straight in and get started. I'm working on a 12 inch canvas here, 3600 pixels square, and it's 300 dpi. So I'm going to use the Procreate hard airbrush here. And let's just grab any old colour, pink because pink's the best. <laughs> and let's just start by drawing a circle. About that sort of size, so draw, hold, tap with your finger and lift up and then you'll have the perfect circle. Then we're going to fill that with colour. Then I'm going to tap to transform. I've got snapping and magnetics on and turned all the way up. And then we're going to snap this into the middle of the canvas there. So if you exported that as a pattern tile, you would have dots repeating in a grid pattern just like this. If you wanted something where they repeat diagonally as well as straight up and down, you do that by duplicating this layer, tapping to transform, and then you can snap this into the corner there. When you drag it into the corner, You'll know it's snapped into place because you'll see those two orange lines crossing over there. So we're going to do that up into each of these corners. Pinch all of those together. So now I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'll hide this one so we've got that to go back to if we make any mistakes with this one. I'm going to Tap to transform. I'm going to drag this up there until that says 1800 pixels there. I'm going to duplicate, snap it over to this side, pinch those two together, duplicate, and bring that down there. And this is how you make your polka dot pattern in Procreate. You can keep making this smaller as many times as you like change the scale of it. If you wanted to make a background for an Instagram post, you could just keep making this smaller and smaller like that until you've got it to the kind of scale that you want to use it at. So you might think that's the end of the story, but I want to show you something really cool you can do with this to make it into a trippy pattern. And then I think I'm actually going to transform this and make it smaller one more time again before we start to mess with this and make it wiggly and wavy. So there we go, we've got nice tiny scale polka dot pattern there. I'm going to duplicate this layer so that we can go back to it if we need to, and I'll hide the other one. I'm going to tap up here on adjustments and I'm going to tap on liquify. And there's all sorts of cool things you can do with liquify. You can like spin these around, you can spin them around the other way, you can shrink them, and you can make them bigger. So what I'm going to do in the middle here, I'm just going to gently tap on pinch. I only want this effect to happen to the, the pixels near the inside. I don't want to do it so much or too close to the edge so that it messes with the pixels on the edge because then this won't be seamless anymore. So that will do enough for this one. I'm going to duplicate that. Whoa, that is very trippy. It's very weird. Tap to transform and drag this over to the left and then the other one, I'm going to snap it to the right there. Then I'm going to duplicate it again, drag half of it down to the bottom. Again, this is very trippy, I did warn you. And then drag that one up to the top and pinch that together. So now we've got that pinch thing that we did in the corners. So now we can go to our adjustments again, go to liquify, and I'm going to use the twirl one for this one. So I'm just going to really gently tap on that middle circle there. And again, I've not moved the edge pixels, they're still good. So now we can duplicate this one, drag half of it over to the left, drag the other half over to the right, pinch those two together, and go to liquify again. And let's try twirling this one to the left. So just really gently tap on that. Duplicate again, and we'll just do top and bottom on this one now. So 
and then we'll go to liquify let's give this one a little twirl and then duplicate this again and we'll go left and right this time you could do this as many times as you like as long as you make sure that you're not messing with the edge pixels that's the only thing you have to be really careful with and on this one i think i'm going to use pinch and like i said you could keep messing with this infinitely i'm going to see how this is looking in repeat now before we go much further so let's duplicate this hide the one underneath and let's try putting this in repeat so what we should do is zoom in and check all along this seam here to make sure that everything's lining up properly and because i was careful not to liquefy anything close to the edges that's all lining up properly and then we'll go from the middle out to the edge to make sure the top and bottom seams are all okay as well and that's all looking okay along there so that's how this one is looking in repeat and if you wanted to export the pattern tile for that it would be this one that you'd export as a jpeg or a png to upload that to somewhere like print on demand and then that's how it would look in repeat if you want to change the color on that you can always alpha lock it and choose something different we could go for this all purple color or even just good old black and white is quite good for optical illusions sometimes playing with the liquify tool in a repeating pattern like this is so much fun so you know how to make a basic polka dot pattern and then you can shrink it down and then play with the liquify tool in the middle of that to create these cool wavy trippy mind-bending optical illusion almost tiles if you have a go at making some patterns like this in procreate don't forget to share them on instagram and tag me at becky flaherty so i can see them if you want to see more from me don't forget to subscribe here on youtube for pattern tutorials every week you can find more of my artwork on instagram and if you want to see more in-depth courses then i have those over on skillshare if you're not already on skillshare and you join up using the link below you'll get 30 days for free have fun stay creative and i will see you next time